Hello, my name is Nilesh. In this video, we are going to see how to check the contents of a Kubernetes secret. On my Kubernetes cluster, I have deployed using a Helm chart, a chart for uh, Loki. Loki is a distributed uh, tracing solution or it's a distributed log aggregation solution, which allows us to uh, collect logs from various nodes in Kubernetes cluster and to monitor them or to visualize those logs using a tool like Grafana. So I've already gone ahead and deployed this particular chart, which comes as part of Helm charts collection. When Loki is deployed in my Kubernetes cluster, the manifest files or the chart which is used to deploy Loki, it creates some secrets and I might have a need to know what are the contents of that secret. In this video, we are going to see multiple ways of seeing the contents of those secret. And let's start with the easy way or what we normally do when we are working with Kubernetes CLI or kubectl. I can use this command called kubectl get secrets and it will list all the secrets that I have in my Kubernetes cluster. We can see there is one secret for Loki here and there is one secret named as Loki prompt tip. Now I'm interested in knowing what are the contents of this Loki prompt tail. I can use this command like uh, get secret or describe secret to describe the contents of that particular secret, which is named as Loki prompt tail. If we look at this, it will show us that this is in the default namespace. It has got some labels and the type of this secret is opaque and we have data inside that which is named as promptail.yaml. The contents of this promptail.yaml file is what I'm interested in knowing. Now, the usual way to get this is we can use the JSON path to get the data inside that YAML file. So I can use this command called kget secret loki promptail and use the output flag and pass JSON path as the parameter to give me the contents of data and inside that the field is promptail.yml. If you look at this content, this is base64 encoded. Uh, secrets in general, when we put them in Kubernetes as secrets, they are base64 encoded. If I want to see the actual content of this file, I have to decode that. In order to do that, I'm going to save this particular content in a PowerShell variable or in a shell variable and then we will pass that to a PowerShell command, which will decode it for us. If we do a echo here on that promptail.yaml variable, we will see the similar content which is stored. This is to verify that the content is actually stored in that uh, PowerShell variable or in the uh, shell variable. Next, we can use text encoding and uh, get this UTF-8 encoded content or convert this base64 into UTF-8 string and we will use from base64 string and pass that variable name there. This is the actual content of that particular uh, secret. So it contains server level information, some client information and this create config for the Loki. The content is not that important. What I wanted to show here was if we want to see the actual content of that particular secret, we have to go through this process of uh, decoding that base64 encoded secret and it involves these multiple steps. That's one approach. Uh, there has to be a better way of looking at this. And I like sometimes to work with visual tools. Uh, of late, I've been using Lens as a visualizer for uh, name, knowing the state of my Kubernetes cluster. And I'm connected to this same cluster where Loki is deployed using the Helm chart. So if I go into the uh, contents or uh, look to visualize the secrets, in this Kubernetes cluster, I can see the same list of secrets and I'm going to look at Loki prompt tail. You can see that the data is prompt tail.ml. That is exactly what we saw in the uh, kubectl command as well. And if I click on this show, we can easily see the contents of that particular secret, the prompt tail.ml file. So this approach is quite easier compared to decoding the content using base64 decoder and what i showed here on the command line was using a powershell and using the commandlets for converting uh, from the base64 encoded string to utf8 
if you are on a Mac or Linux machine, uh, we would pipe this output of the JSON output to a uh, base64 and pass decode as the flag. So those are the ways in which we can see the contents of the uh, Kubernetes secret. I hope you found this useful. In case you find these kind of videos useful, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comments what other kind of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks for watching this. Until next time, code with passion and strive for excellence.